ever listened to a song and wished you could sing it with the confidence and perhaps even the style of the artist singing it? Have you ever imagined yourself on stage in front of a crowd or maybe even your peers, singing with such freedom and control over your voice that you almost feel like a changed person at the thought of it? Perhaps you think it's not possible because you don't have a background in music. Maybe, like me, you struggle to read notes and forget about sheet music. Maybe you don't have the time or interest in learning music theory. For now. That's okay. My name is Jaren, and I'm a multi-award nominated recording artist with over 20 years of experience in the music industry. I've recorded more than eight albums in different genres, ranging from folk music to trance music, and published hundreds of song titles. And I was somehow able to do all that because I developed a strong ear. What inspired me? When I was 16, my life was forever changed by a film called Little Voice, in which a young lady has the ability to sing in the style of all her dead father's favorite singers. Sounds crazy. It's an amazing comedy, by the way. The film left an indelible mark on my psyche. How did she do that? How was she so talented? Pretty soon, the thought of being able to listen to a song and break it down to its elements, you know, being able to figure out how the singer sang it and then copying that, was enough to set me on the journey that leads me to you now. Now, as someone who struggles with ADHD, I'll also be the first to admit it has been a huge gift. It's afforded me the power of pattern recognition in many areas of my life, singing being one of them. What I discovered and what I continue to uncover is that all of the greatest, most famous singers in the world, no matter their genre, have mastered three things. We'll get to that in a minute. What pattern recognition has also taught me is that every singer, famous or not, develops their own stylistic pattern, like a thumbprint. The way they sing certain vowels, for example, the way they end their phrases, the type of vocalics they do regularly. Those are things we'll be covering in this course. If you want to get even more advanced, you can look at other patterns, including physical patterns, the way a singer moves their face or jaw when they hit a particular note, specific stances and postures, expressive movements used to aid in the conveyance of emotions or intentions, etc. So what will we cover? Well, how to know if you're singing in tune. You'll learn my pick and choose method for warming up, and you can watch how I warm up personally. We'll record our starting point for this course so you can mark your progress. That's important when learning any skill set as it keeps you motivated to continue. I'll briefly discuss the three most popular singing voices, chest voice, head voice, belting voice. I'll introduce you to my method for breaking down a singer's vocal style, and you'll learn the written language I use to notate that. I'll show you some breathing exercises that are fun and also calming for the body, because we could all use a little more calm in our busy lives, right? <laughs> we'll talk briefly about different styles of vibrato and how to notate them on our lyric sheets. We'll experiment with volume and timing we'll discover two divas libraries of vocal lick patterns and learn a couple of vocal licks ourselves. Of course, we'll go over the importance of emotion and intention. This is my absolute favorite chapter in the course. And I've included a calendar with suggested practices for each day, so you can take your time and spread them out over the course of a month. That's what I recommend. This way you take the time to incorporate and process what we've learned. I'm just presenting you with tips and tricks. Your job is to practice them and bring them to life. Improvement does take time. Now you could absolutely finish this course much faster or slower, it really is up to you. It's just my suggestion. And finally, we'll put it all together. You'll re-record what you sang in chapter three and you'll hear just how far you've come during this process. And of course, I wanna hear your progress, so I'm hoping you'll email me your before and afters. Now, one of the biggest benefits of this course, I believe, is that you'll have the chance to get more comfortable with the sound of your own recorded voice. Perhaps this wasn't even on your radar, but one of the top questions I received when I put this course together was, Jaren, how do I get comfortable with the sound of my own voice? I sound so different on speakers, I don't recognize myself. We'll have plenty of time to record ourselves on whatever we have available. Cell phone recorder, digital recorder, a tape deck. You won't need anything fancy for this course, just the desire to want to improve. And perhaps the best part is that you don't have to have a background in music theory to do it. You won't be reading any notes or sheet music. You'll practice sensitizing your ears to things like vibrato and vocal licks, and you'll learn what to listen for so that you can apply the techniques learned in this course to reverse engineer any song by any artist and apply their techniques 
to your own practice. With time and commitment, you'll get the confidence you need to sing the way you dream of. So I hope you'll join me for this introduction to everything I wanted to know when I first started. There are so many wonderful teachers out there and amazing resources if you know exactly where to look. This course, really, is designed by a rebel for other rebels. Let's put it that way. So I hope to see you and hear from you soon. You can absolutely improve your ear and who knows, maybe at the end of this course, you'll be hearing the world a little differently. <laughs>